We've been in the suspect's Massapequa Park neighborhood all day, 1st Avenue and Michigan Avenue to be specific. News 12's Jen Selig has been talking to neighbors about the shock they're experiencing today, waking up to that scene outside their homes, of police cars, media, but more so the information that came with it. Jen, what's the reaction been like from those suspects? Made an arrest. Oh, Doug, they're all shocked here. They say this area is very quiet and now their neighborhood is the center of the news universe. Now, I want to reiterate, we were the first news crew to be here. We arrived here around 545 this morning and still an active scene. It's been like that all morning. What's the only thing that's new is seeing all the neighbors coming out and questioning what's going on in their neighborhood. They're shocked to learn that the suspect is one of their neighbors, but they're also really uh, stunned to see all of this unfold right here. I honestly thought the guy was this is home, you know. Donald Pierre saw the news on social media. He said this one hit way too close to home. It was five minutes away from where I live. I'm like, no way. And then it was so it was like really surreal when I saw everything taped off, the TVs, cameras, police command trucks. I'm like, wow, this is real. Neighbors watched people in Tyvek suits walk in and out of this red house on First Ave. They're still trying to wrap their heads around what's happening on their street. It's crazy. Anything like this you ever expect to happen, you know, to wake up to? Never. Never. Residents tell News 12 they saw police here late Thursday night, and today crowds of neighbors are lining along the yellow police tape, all stunned. Suffolk County, there's a lot of state police. It's a lot of agencies here. It's scary, man. I never, I never see some, you know, it's first time. It's historical. I go on runs all the time. I'm out and about. Same, so is she. So it is crazy to know that this has been years, that this person has been in Massapequa. Maddie Cannon lives in the neighborhood. She was shocked to learn that a suspect in connection with the Gilgo Beach murders lives a block away from her. Gilgo is close, but it kind of gave a little bit of distance to say, oh, well, probably, you know, driving distance away, not something that I'd be passing. She and others are witnessing a historic moment, a major development in the Gilgo Beach murders. And as chilling as it is, they're happy this arrest can bring justice to the victims' families. I'm happy for the families. Um, you know, shocked. It's sad. It's tragic. It's not about him. It's not about us. It's about the victims. Now, again, we have been here all day. People making their way here, telling us that they've seen us reporting on this all day long, so they wanted to come down and see it themselves. But again, these command posts, the state police, Suffolk police, and also Nassau police command posts have been